Uh, I wanted to again move forward to July 3rd, 2000. You defeat Terry Funk on Nitro in Charleston, West Virginia. That's so. That's a pretty big honor to have the chance to work with Terry Funk. Could you tell me a little bit about working with him? Terry was, you know, he was, he was awesome. He, I mean, he, I learned a lot from him in, in regards to psychology. Uh, he was a little crazy, but you have to be, he was a hardcore legend. You have to be, you know, a little crazy to be able to do that. Um, you know, when my, when I won the belt from him, when we had that match where I got injured, you know, you got to keep in mind, you know, a lot of people ask me why I did that move off the top rope where I tore my bladder. Um, you know, I was 21 years old, I think at the time. And I thought I was indestructible. Um, when someone asked me if there's something I could do off the top rope, because Terry asked me, he goes, what, what do you think you could do off the top rope to the floor? And I was like, what can I do? What do you want me to do? I'll do it. You know, I was so hyped up about, cause I knew that I was going to win the belt. So I wanted to make it special. So I was like, I think, cause I'd been practicing the leg drop. So I was like, I can do a leg drop off the top rope to the floor. And everyone was like, are you sure? And people will even warn me. I think, I think, uh, uh Alpha Funk warned me few other people warned me and I'm like no nah, I got this I got this so the thing is if I would have peed before I went out I had a full bladder I didn't oh think about shit it. okay yeah so if I would have peed before I went out and uh I I, I probably would have injured myself a little bit because it shifted my pelvis oh the way that right. I did. it didn't break anything but it just kind of shifted my lower back and my pelvis I probably would have been injured in that regard, but I, I wouldn't have torn my bladder. It was a partial tear. So, and I, I, I had the black slacks on. So I, I pissed myself. Right. But I thought I broke my back. I, at the time, I didn't know I pissed myself. I just rolled over. And I was like, Terry, I'm hurt. And he's like, what? Because <laughs> we're at <laughs> my company. I'm like, I'm hurt. So I tried to stand up and I fell down. And then he rolled back in the ring and he was like, well, let's just cut out the two, the, the go home. We'll cut out, go home. Let's go straight into the finish. So I picked the chair up. I hit him in the head with a chair and DDT him on the chair, covered him. And they carried me out on a stretcher. And then I woke up. I remember trying to pee and I peed blood. It was super painful. And then put me in an ambulance. They gave me some medication and then I woke up in the hospital and all the boys were there. Kevin Nash, Goldberg, everybody was there. They thought like I was, you know, broke my back. Fuck. So I woke up, I had a catheter in me and uh, luckily I didn't require surgery. Um, a week later, a, a week later, I was out of the hospital and that happened. At, yeah, that was in West Virginia, I believed. And um the uh, one of the nurses got fired for uh lifting up my my uh blanket and staring at me naked really yeah i didn't know i was all peeled up i didn't know and um the head nurse came in and she's like has anyone been here you know to tend to you and i was like i don't know some nurses came in here and were lifting up my blanket or something and i was like delusional and like you know on pain pills and they're like, really? Because that's they're, they're obviously not supposed to do that. So they got fired. My mom wouldn't let them work on me there at West Virginia Hospital. <laughs> she wanted to fly back to one of them, airlift me back to Atlanta. Because Atlanta's got really good hospitals like Emory, and Piedmont Hospital. So they brought me back to Atlanta. And uh, a week later, I was out. And then I really thought I was indestructible then because I, I, didn't, I didn't require surgery. I bounced back from it so quick. <laughs> so, but yeah, the, the, the thing with Terry Funk, it was up until that point. Yeah, oh, a lot of people don't know. I broke his orbital too because I the move was top rope, leg drop on a chair because after I just pile drive them on the – it, it was a little excessive, but I pile drive – I moved the mats back – put the chair on his face, ran in the ring, hit the ropes, dig the leg drop. I broke his orbital. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that either. 
And then later on after that, Matt uh, Goldberg came up to me, you know, later on, I think we we're at the Australian event. And he was like, it was just after he wrote his book and he wrote about me in his book. He was like, he called me a tough, you know, mf -er. The fact that I got back in the ring and I was able to finish a match after an injury like that.